Hi, let's investigate together. Awesome. We have a awesome picture that's now gone with alt to the right, sorry, to the left, you have the picture back. So that's variety for you, that's kicking in. We'll make a separate tutorial about wallpapers. I just want to show you now uh, where is awesome. You know, maybe you've installed already i3 and i3 is hidden away in your home directory .conf i3. So where is awesome? Now we can uh, navigate with the menu and go through file manager and stuff like that. So like this file manager, and that's Tunar by the way. You could choose for Nemo, uh, you could choose for Nautilus, anything goes. But we've chosen for Tunar since we're coming from Arch Merch slash Arco Linux. So all our settings are in there and we want to keep those settings. We want to keep those configs and tweaks. So how do we open it if you don't want to use the menu? Well, we can advise you to try out the, uh, the shortcuts. The shortcuts are always at your fingertips. Super S. Whoa. Lots of them. So you check out uh, the ones you really want. If you say, hey, I'm a Vivaldi guy, that's Super F1. And so on. So if you want the file manager, it's for me Super Shift and Return. That's it. I'll never use the menu. I'll use my shortcuts as my fingers know what to do, where to press. Super shift to the, uh, enter. So it will take a little bit of time uh, to uh, get used to the shortcut. But if you keep a, a week or two inside a, a window tiling manager, your fingers know where to go to, to navigate to. So where is awesome? Awesome is hidden away in the .config, like i3. It's in here. So you drag it out here and say it's in the dot config. So you put it just beneath it. So all these things here, check the look here, are in the dot config. So that's how I know this is a limiter or a delimiter, how do you say it? So this is dot config. And if you want to go inside the awesome folder, that's this link. So just want to take you through. Um, the folders and the files before we go ahead and see other stuff. So there is this auto star thing, there is this dot content.com thing. So RC Lua and system overview. So the system overview is actually what we see here. That's a conky that needs to go. So once you know your keyboard shortcuts, I think you'll do something similar as control return and you say kill all Conky. That's what you do, and you say poof, gone. Super Shift Q, gone again. So we've killed the Conky. If you feel you're not ready for that, leave it there. But Super S is there in your uh, if you require it. So that's this thing. This thing is launched every time you relaunch the system, the Conky will be relaunched. This is your the essence of your awesome. Uh, system so RC Lua and uh, Lua is a uh, language a programming language Lua definition and you find the definition dynamically it's probably better in English well an article about Lua programming language itself Lua Lua I think we have to pronounce it lightweight multi-paradigm programming language etc etc and let you read so that's lua okay we can open it i advise you use not genie but i advise you use uh, atom so i'm going to set it once and for all so open with other application is the best way to go atom and then say use as default for this kind of file so all the time it will be opened in atom that's that so we have here um, a code we could check it all out but that's not the idea of the video now but this is your core business so let's scroll down and see what we need to read sometime it says here 1066 lines the mainly th the main thing here that we that you see that you should know already is that at the end we say hey start this one auto start start that one a eh? and please also start Compton with that configuration. So these two are 
started with that one that's something you need to know this is just to help you first hours so that's important to know then the themes we have two themes a power arrow and a power arrow blue so a variant both are the same but just other colors we have some scripts if we want to toggle the Compton, Compton off, Compton on. So shading, fading, uh, transparency, off or on. Okay. And then lane, all the information for, for the widgets and for the layouts are in here. And for the free desktop, all the information for the menu is in here. So these things need to be updated from time to time. So there'll be updates coming from Awesome and we'll follow along and uh, make sure everything just works. And what, where will these updates go to? Well, always to your ETC scale because we can't write to your home directory. We won't, we won't. Huh? So in your .config is always the latest version of Awesome. So for, if you do sudo pacman minus s y y u, you update everything that's the place where the new files of awesome will be and it's up to you to decide hey uh, will i update or not okay so that basically uh, what you need to know for where are my files and here when you have atom it's quick easy way to quickly change and set everything right and while we are here maybe we can do something as well so if we take the lua you see the colors are Ugly. Well, not nice anyway. Because it thinks it's plain text. But if you type Lua, I say, hmm, he doesn't know Lua. So, what do you do then? You go to Packages and Settings View, Install Packages and Themes. You start typing Lua, Enter. And they have here Add Syntax, Hide Lighting, and Snippets to Lua Files and Atom. Yes, that's what I want. I want colors because you'll see that, um, well, if you start editing the Lua, it helps you a lot. Yeah? This is visually more attractive. And now you know instantly that this is just garbage. This is just text, it will not be used. And but all the rest is actually programming text. So Lua code. So this is a major advantage already. The things I will install as well is, um, pigments if there is coloring to be made if there is hexadecimal color i would like to see it already in the code and the other one that i like is minimap and that's the thing to the right so i'll install it as well you can install more i often do in other tutorials but let's this time do a minimal one maybe the minimap pigments as well so we see in the right uh, which is the minimap, we will see here also some colors, you see? So you can navigate very quickly with a handle here, say, okay, is it somewhere in the middle, or where was I writing the code? Here is a block that's not used at all, as you see, it's all grayed out, um, but we left it in just in case if you wanted it. So now we're set to go for a later moment in a later tutorial. Everything is installed. Atom knows now what Lua is. You can control scroll, make it bigger. So you see, we can uh, dive into this. All right. Cheers for now.